Hello, welcome back. Technical Tuesday with Johnny Tiger. February 7, 2023, and that was Tactical Tuesday. I somehow managed to mush the word. Just think of it as my Chinese accent coming out. <laughs> um, today, we're going to talk about something that I am pretty sure I mentioned before in one form or another, because this is one of those little key of, uh, one of those little key feature in something like Krav Maga, self-defense, uh, any kind of uh, more realistic, reality-based self-defense that people don't usually like to talk about because it looks really cheap, right? but it works, and it's the kind of thing that you really need to keep in your mind. If you were to get into any kind of grappling situation or uh, a ground fighting situation uh, in a real street tussle, right? Now, this might not be something that you want to use in a judo tournament or a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu tournament. You're going to get yourself disqualified and uh, at least get a couple of warning. But grabbing the pants, grabbing the groin, grabbing any kind of skin you can get on the leg, including leg hair, yes, okay, very, very important. This is something that is going to allow you to get that little bit of an edge on whoever that you're defending against. Because those of you that have worn pants before, or if you wear pants now, just try to, just try this, okay? Grab a handful of your pants, pull it out as tight as you can, or keep that pressure, and start walking. Yeah, very, very awkward, right? Even if you just grabbing your own pants, okay? Grab a ha two handful of the front of your pants, just over your groin area, okay? You two hands, grab your groin area. Don't actually grab your groin, just grab the pants material over your groin, pull it out as hard as you can, and start walking. Yeah, very uncomfortable. So imagine if you're doing this to somebody, someone else who's not expecting it in the middle of a tussle. Okay, very important. This is something that I harp on again and again and again when I'm teaching students. Yes, it's important to learn the proper traditional technique when someone headlock you, you do this and you do this and you do this. Yeah, cool. It's very nice to learn the proper defense against someone choking you from behind and you... Yeah. But at the end of the day, the key is survival. The key is not to look good. It's not looking good. The key is that the ultimate goal is to survive. The ultimate goal is not to win this tournament. To win, so we shouldn't even think of it as a fight. We just think of it as how can I end this fight? In another word, rather than trying to muscle, out muscle, out speed, out martial art my opponent, I want to do something so WTF that it's going to give me that edge. So when they try to headlock me, and rather than trying to muscle, I'll muscle them, I'm just going to grab a handful of the groin, push down, and out I go. Eh? When, when they're pulling me, I'm pulling them, and I'm trying to move to the side, and they're following me, rather than trying to do this all the ducking and pushing on the arm, I'm going to grab a handful of the pants to anchor them in place and then knock my head out. Nice and simple. Okay? Don't be shy about grabbing the pants or whatever your hand can reach to anchor the person in place to impede their movement. Pinning sleeve, pinning pant leg, pinning uh, shoes, stepping on, if they're wearing slippers, if someone is so stupid as they're fighting you while they're wearing flip-flops, stepping on the flip-flop, stepping on the toe, anything goes, okay? Don't forget those little details. And above all, don't
don't forget grabbing the pants, okay? One primary example I can give you guys is the uh, Krav Maga answer to being strangled from behind, okay? Being strangled from behind is a scary thing. It's something that actually will happen out there when someone wants to attack you, right? When the arm come around your throat, number one, drop your weight, drop your shoulder forward. Number two, drop your hand onto the elbow joint, okay? Don't ever pull on the forearm. Don't ever get the wrist. The point you want is right here on the elbow joint. Dig your finger into the elbow joint, tuck your chin on top of your fist. Okay, now he can't choke me. He is still trying to pull me back. If he's really big, he'll still succeed in pulling me back, but he's not choking me because I have my hand right here, anchoring the elbow joint. But from here, how do I get out? Okay, number one, give him some pain to think about. Back elbow, boom, solar flex, and then grab the pants, grab the groin. Okay, grab and duck out from under the arm. Hopefully end up behind them or at least beside them. Okay, now, what if I don't grab the pants? This is when things get messy. I come around the throat. I do my dropping my weight forward. I do my hand on the elbow joints. Everything good. I go boom, back elbow. And I try to move. And the person is moving with me. When I step to the side, he steps to the side. When I turn, he turns. The two of us are going to stand here dancing around, and I'm going to waste a lot of energy. If I don't grab the pants and anchor him in place, or grab the groin to give him something really excruciating to think about. Okay, so there are a lot of street level grappling. Grabbing the pants, grabbing the groin, is going to be that skeleton key you need to get out of a sticky situation. Thank you for checking out today's Tactical Tuesday. We'll be back again tomorrow for some Wisdom Wednesday. For now, have a good night. And don't forget to grab the pants.